guys, today I got my ad tracker into in my mailbox. Um, it came into a nice little package. Um, yeah, it was sent by Mr. What was his name again? Mr. Cross. So, um, yeah, very lovely, and um, well, I'm gonna open it for the first time right now. So, I got the box open. Um, what do we have? We have the app tracker itself. I got this. Let me see. What is it? <clears throat> A little kind of certification or... Oh, with the software version, drift values on it, some other stuff. Pretty nice. Um, and what do we have here? I don't know. Let's open it up later. And a lovely pink USB cable. I asked him if he could, uh, could, uh, well, ship an USB cable as well. And well, he did. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's a pink one. Lovely. Match the colors of the rest of my computer. Um, <clears throat> so, um, let's open these other two things up and, uh, I'll get back again. So, I hooked, uh, the ad tracker up to my PC right now and, well, I figured it out how it, um, worked. So, you can see as I tilt the device with all the nifty lamps and stuff, we have this transition on the screen. So, when I put it up and down... And well, tilt it around. We have this, um, well, this shift in movement. And well, I think I need to, well, balance it out a little bit. But well, we're gonna figure that out soon enough. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, let's find out the rest. Um, I started, uh, I hooked up my ad tracker to uh, my computer and well get things working so uh, as you can see my ad tracker is here taped it on my headset and uh, with this lovely pink USB cable I hooked it up to my computer so um we got a few um, files um, that I used um, the first one is to uh, uh, or to install the ad tracker to your computer and well it's not these it's the drivers um, uh, you have this uh, CAT file and this CAT file um, you can download it um, from the ad tracker website and well you need to unzip it in a in a little um, what is it called uh, a folder and just put for all the files in there and um, when you're uh, when you hooked up the the ad tracker for the first time to your um, uh, to your computer, go to device manager and you will see an ad ad tracker and the unknown devices. And well, uh, just put uh, just right click on it and say update driver software and then uh, browse browse and then just point to the. Um, put into the, the folder with uh, containing these files and well um, it's sh it shows right up right here as an Adreno Le uh, Leonardo com tree port um, so uh, when you get that working uh, you want to go to the ad tracker itself and this is the new GUI driver uh, that it just released released <coughs> Oh well, um, let's see if it working. No, wait, I have another instance open. Never mind. Um, so this is my open instance from uh, from the, the ad tracker software, and as you can see, as if I move my head, it well it shifts around as well. And well, it does exactly that. And well, I get it um, set up with uh, OpenTrack, 
which is fairly hard to find to download because um, they moved all kind of files and it's pretty weird um, but I will show you some links in the description uh, in this video so you uh, you can work something out yourself um, but I got it working with OpenTrack because that's the that's in my opinion the best how it works in Arma 3 which I play a lot um, so uh, what I've done I've put the jaw scaling and pitch scaling to uh, 100 uh, which is uh, which is pretty useful when you're working with open track um, so when you got that set up you can want to go to open track uh, at the joystick at the joystick and as the main tracker and then select your ad tracker 2.0 <coughs> <coughs> After that, um, what you want to do is go. Uh, you need to select free track right here, and uh, well, I use the the, the uh, track IR um, protocol. Um, as for mapping, I got this setup. I wanna have this little bit of an uh, what is it called a uh, dead zone for the for all your movement. So, uh, well, I got as working as you can see. Uh, I can tilt my head a little bit. I can move my out head a little bit without having a, rea and a reaction in game. Um, same with pitch, but um, well, uh, this is a little bit less of a dead zone, and roll quite the same as you can see, and I'm. Well, I, I'm still debugging this is a little bit, or um, fine-tuning this a little bit. And uh, well, it's working pretty out so far. So, guys, I fired up uh, an editor for you, the the Armor Tree editor, and placed myself in a Moak helicopter. And as you can see, as I move my head around. I have this same motion in game and of course it works in the cockpit as well and that's where I have it for and as you can see it can well it shifts around and this device only has three um, degrees of freedom so I got the I got job pitch and the, the roll and only the jaw and pitch working right now in the helicopter. I can show you a roll in a bit how we get set it up. So it's not a six degree of freedom uh, device as the the track IR where you can also zoom in and that kind of stuff. But um, I'm don't really gonna use that anyway. So when I wanna zoom in or something, I'm just gonna press a button on my joystick and have the same result. <coughs> so, well, um, works really, really good in a helicopter, and well, I need to get used to it for a little bit. So it's fairly hard to, um, well, to do it for the first time. So, um, but it really comes in handy when, well, putting your helicopter on the ground, and. Let's see if this is gonna work. So put it on the ground. And well, pretty good. A little bit too close to that pole there. But, well, mm, does the job, right? So, if I'm gonna get out of this helicopter. I'm going to show you some of the other features. <coughs> so, I got the moving around as an infantry as well. And uh need to fine tune it a little bit. I think right is I need to move my head a little bit too much to my right. So, maybe again I going to need to center it again. Um, well, 
Let's do it right now. Um, so what I can do is gonna s look straight to the center and well reset it and fire up on again. And as you can see, it's centered right better right now, so I don't need to move my head all the way to the right to get the same result. Um, so that works pretty good right now. Still a little bit, I need still a little bit too much to my right, but well, I'm gonna fine tune that. But as an infantry, I set it so I can I put the uh, the roll um, on my on the lean function. So what I can do, I can just really fine tune peek around corners and stuff, and this comes in handy in really close quarter combat where you want to watch around, watch your surroundings really want to watch where you're going and well what's around corners and stuff and well this comes in handy as a automatic rifleman as well where you're gonna want to lay down fire down range and well you still watch your surroundings a bit So well, that's basically it. The the air tracker in Armor Three, and well, yeah, I still need to fine tune this a little bit. But I really wanted to show this uh, to you guys because I know that a lot of guys are still are right now looking for some kind of device, um, um, well, which not working on uh, with with if infrared yeah infrared light like the like the track IR which is fairly expensive and um well um yeah I got I got this for like fifty euros in my mailbox and uh well it's it was like eight twenty eight pounds for the for the device itself and then something for the the for the shipments the cable and the enclosure as well so that well that brought me on uh on uh on fifty euros. Um so um yeah I'm pretty positive about this device. I'm gonna test it a little bit more and play it play a bit more with it. Gonna fly around a bit and uh well have I got uh, something else to say about uh, to you guys uh, about the device I'm gonna oh gotta put up a new video with my new findings and uh, you can find us on the same YouTube channel um peace out this was Eric from the RSW clan and uh, well uh, happy flying